What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Lemon Football and today's video is going to be a little how-to for you guys in ways you can be kind of thrifty, save some money and still get those desired looks you're wanting. So what I'm going to be doing today is I get a ton of emails all the time about people asking me about, yo, um, can I have one of your old visors? I can't afford to buy a visor, whatever it is. The reality is when I was their age, I also couldn't afford to buy the visors. Okay, So what I actually did is I bought this visor used on eBay for a couple bucks. Uh, over the years, I've used and abused this thing in practicing games. I tried to dye it once. I used nail polish remover to take all that dye off. This thing has been through hell. And you can see it's kind of a big mess right now. But what I'm actually doing today is using a car product called FW1. And I'm going to be showing you guys a couple different things that's going to help out with this visor. So the main thing for this one is because the coating has basically been eaten off, water doesn't bead off it as easily anymore. Okay. So, you know, if you get sweat on the inside of here while you're running and stuff, it stays on there. It's really tough to see. Also, rain on the outside doesn't beat off as easily either. So it's really tough to see this there as well. One of the properties of this fast wax is kind of like Rain-X. So you could use any other um, DIY wax product, Fukin wax, fast wax. You could try Rain-X. Um, but what the basic point of it is, is I'm going to spray this on here, wipe it off. And that way, leaving that wax coating on here, First off, it's clear because it is made for glass so you can still th see through it, but also it's gonna bead that water off. Okay, so you're taking a cheap and expensive way, adding it with another and trying to upscale it to get kind of the same results you would with buying a brand new visor. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we have the visor. When I pour any water on the top here, it beads off it beads off okay. Some of the water is still kind of lingering around, right? Kind of doing its thing. But especially on the inside for sweat and stuff right now, all the water kind of just sits on here. And it kind of just leaves a ton of water still sitting on the inside. You can kind of see it sitting there. Okay, so right now we still have some of these water droplets and stuff kind of hanging around on there. You can kind of see all over it. Okay, so what we're going to do first when we apply this stuff is we're just going to clean all the water off. You can do it if there is some water on there, so you can do it again on the sideline. So one coat of this stuff is supposed to last you two to three months. Looked around, some people said you can get up to six months of one coat of this stuff. Just because if you do want to use it on a visor, you're not getting the same wear and tear as you would on using it on like a vehicle with dust and car washes and stuff. But also, it works a lot better when you put it on cool metals and glass. So, you know, if you're not putting on outside and the visor's hot or something, you're not going to get streaks. You're going to be able to see a lot better and get a lot more use out of one coat. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, this in good shake. And there's no, like, harmful chemicals or smells or anything like that. It's pretty odorless. So what I'm going to do now is now that I got the, uh, the wax on there, I'm just going to rub it in, spread it around circular motion to avoid streaking. Okay, now you can see it's gone to like this haze right now. So it's really hard to see throughout it right now. But what I'll actually do next, now we go back over it with your um, microfiber towel here. Buff it out. Now I have the coating on the front of the visor, okay. Now let's see how well it works when I put some water on here. See all the water just beads off there now. Do the exact same thing on the inside of it. Spray a little bit of the stuff on. It doesn't take a lot. You know, even if you were worried about using too much overspray, you could actually just spray it on your towel first, then rub it on from there. The only thing is you're going to need to definitely saturate your towel a little bit first. So I definitely spray some on, let it soak into the towel a little bit, and then put a little more on the top of it. Again, same thing. It looks pretty hazy right now. Go back over it again with our microfiber. And there's not a lot you can do for obviously the scratches and stuff, but it actually helped clear it up. You get a little bit of a shinier finish out of it. But again, the most important thing here, all the water now beads off the visor. So it's a very simple way you can actually upscale your visor to get a longer use out of one visor. And don't forget, with a full can of this stuff, it says one can will do um, an SUV four times. So with one can and no expiration date, you pick up one can, you're set for a really long time. 
So there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Don't forget to be thrifty. Share this video with your friends. Everyone can try to upscale and keep stuff, make it last longer. That way you get a little more bang for your buck. Again, if you guys like this video, I think it was quite clever. So go ahead and hit that like button. Now again, it is important, right? It doesn't have to be, you know, it can be any cotton towel. So I'm just using an old piece of cloth here. I buy these at Princess Auto. You, they come in basically big bags of recycled materials. You can actually even use something like your sew hoodie here. This is a terry cloth material, so it's just the cotton as well. You could use that. And then you just go back over it with a clean microfiber to buff it out, get rid of any streaks, and give you a really good shine as well. And as always, thanks.